All right, ladies, men, if you're watching this, this is a ladies video. So you can go on and skip or watch if you have a lady that you hike with and you're interested, I don't know. But now that I've officially gotten my period, auntie flow, whatever you want to call it, on trail, I thought I would do an update video about how I am handling it and what I'm doing, stuff like that. So day one is always the roughest, um, worst symptoms, heaviest flow, obviously. So right when I got it, I took ibuprofen to hopefully mitigate some of those cramps and uncomfortable pains um, so that I can still make our big day today and not be too sidetracked by it. And yeah, I am currently using tampons. They are applicator free so that I can reduce my waste, not have to pack out all the applicators, the plastic little applicators. And yeah, I'm happy with it so far. I really did not trust my ability to keep a cup clean out here and have the space to properly dispose of the blood. And uh, yeah, it just didn't seem super sanitary for me. So I'm happy, I think I'm gonna keep truck in the way I am and I will show you um, the little tampons and I have them in like a mesh baggie um, and then I have a separate bag for just period trash and I have lots of wipes and toilet paper wrap them in toilet paper use wipes to clean up use hand sanitizer before and after um, yeah so far, so good. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments what you ladies do, how it works for you. Definitely open to conversation, suggestions about how I'm doing things the most sanitary. I'd like to go more sustainable with a cup. I know tampons aren't the most sustainable, but gotta do what I gotta do. So I think it's what works best for me. I definitely feel like it's slowing me down a bit. I mean, I still have some discomfort even though I took ibuprofen. Like the placement of your hip belt and where your period cramps and uncomfortability is, is like not passing the vibe check. So it is like same kind of placement I feel like. And personally, I like to free flow my first couple of days so honestly having to wear a tampon is just more uncomfortable I would typically do like period underwear and wash them I have quite a few at home um, so I would do that the first few days just to really let my body do what it naturally wants to do instead of like putting a cork in it and clogging it up um, I did bring some period underwear one pair for like the first night. Um, I know I'm not really gonna be able to like wash them uh, or it until I get to town. So it's really only good for like that first night when it's like the heaviest um, and most uncomfortable. Uh, but yeah, and then I'll just stick it in a extra Ziploc bag and wash them when I get to town. And I will show a picture of those as well. Of course I am climbing while I'm trying to take these. So I'm out of breath. My nose is runny. It's windy. My pole is going over here. But that's the reality of dealing with your period on trail. You just gotta push on and deal with it. It is an inconvenience in your normal everyday life. And it is definitely an inconvenience on trail. I am very jealous of Trevor. 
and not having to deal with it. Um, some people might say like, oh, well, you can take birth control and like make yourself not have a period, but that's not happening here. I'm not doing that. I uh, like my body's natural cycle and letting it do what it's meant to. So please don't uh, comment advising that. It's not for me, not for my body. Um, yeah. So this too shall pass and I'm sure dealing with it will get easier, hopefully. I just think it's uncomfortable to like even be going pee on this side of the trail. You know, I can't just like whip it out and go pee off the side of the trail. You know, it's like shorts down, peeing, like hoping nobody's coming. And it's easier said than done to always get to like great spots where you're like completely hidden. I've never had any issues, but it's just a little like nerve wracking, not as comfortable as just being in your own private bathroom. I think mean, Trevor always looks out for me usually. So that's really sweet. But you know, it's like definitely difficult to be like changing tampons and carrying around bloody trash. But that's just the reality of it, really. So yeah, that is my Auntie Flo spiel. Thankfully, my mom sent me lots of chocolate and my last resupply, which I crave when I'm on my period. It's that time and I got lucky because there was a bathroom and there was a trash can that I could throw my trash away in. So this is what these little guys look like and you're probably thinking, what the heck, Brooke? That's not going to do it for me. I'm small, my flow is light, so... These are like regular with no applicator. Um, you just deal with like the plastic around them and make sure your hands are clean because you will be shoving that thing up there with your finger. Um, but yeah, and like you can get bigger ones. And my mom first recommended these to me and I was like, no way, sister, not happening. Um, but I tried them before trail because I had to when I was at our mountain house in West Virginia. I got my period by surprise and I went to like an organic store. I'm kind of weird about, well, just particular about what kind I use. And they had these for organic, um, non-bleached, like good cotton tampons. And so I gave them a try and I really liked them. And I was like, wow, these are going to be perfect on trail. And they have been so far. These are my period undies. They are made by the brand Thinks, I think is how you say it. They sell a really affordable line at Target. I have quite a few pairs at home, so I thought it would just be really comfy to have a pair on trail with me. I like the black because you can't see the blood or um, you know stain them really. And yeah, I've been really happy with these at home, so it's great to have a pair on trail. So not pictured or videoed was my monthly cry sesh. Not ashamed. I definitely cry like once a month when it gets to be around my time of the month. It kind of came like a few days ago and I just kind of felt like a little crazy. I hate that word, but it really catches me off guard. And I feel like it's just when my hormones are like transitioning or something and yeah, I just need like a good cry and then I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't even know what I was sad about or why that happened, but it just does. And also not pictured was my mini meltdown because um, my hip belt and my cramps really did start bothering me and you know, it would be nice to just be able to lay in the tent all day and kind of just, I don't know, be uncomfortable, but be more comfortable than walking around with a tight hip belt. But 
it passed and I'm feeling more comfortable now and so it's just another act of resilience while you're out here. So basically women are badass, guys have it easy, and I hope you learned something from this video. I'm still learning myself I feel like, but aren't we all? And if things change or I go about a different route, period cup, different things like that. I really don't think I'm going period cup route, guys, because I just don't think they're comfy for me. So I think, yeah, this is probably going to stick and stay. But if there's an update, an update will come.